CBN asked to remove Arabic inscription from a design in our notes. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The redesigned Naira Note Arabic inscription must be removed and the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has been urged to do so. According to Teva Ekasi, Governor Simon Lawton, special, Senior Special Assistant for Media and Publicity, all Nigerian languages should be on the currency rather than Arabic. Ekasi bemoaned the absence of Arabic as Nigeria's second official language in a tweet. Those redesigning Naira Note should ensure that inscription of all languages are on the currencies. If it is impossible, they should remove the existing Arabic inscription and leave only English on the new note. Arabic is not Nigeria's second official language. The talkback will reveal the new Naira note on December 15, 2022, according to Daily Post. The new currencies to be introduced, according to CBN Governor Godwin Emiefili, are the 1,000 Naira, 500, and 200 Naira notes. Speaking at a press conference, Emiefili asked Nigerians to swap their old notes for new ones at the local bands. Now, I am so, 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 I do not want to come out with rumors. I know they like, you see, I hear, see. You know, but people are beginning to resound this. And, you know, it is beginning to give me a shift in thinking. Look at what is going on around. Look at what is going on around. You see this issue of the one to Islamize the country. Sincerely, I know really gets, I know, and I, I don't, it's not like, I am convinced that it cannot happen. No. I am convinced that, you know, it is it is possible, but I do not think that they would do it. Why change the uh, foreign currency? They have not even told us why. I mean, I say a foreign currency. I know it. You are not changing it so that it is going to improve the value of the Naira. Because till now, I never knew the advantages or the benefits of changing this wasting money on printing and then you get you start disturbing people's lives with you know replacing all the money they have and then i am hearing that it was done so that they are going to be able to put arabic language and it is happening i beg me <laughs> see this thing where then they do this drug where then they find you know why they pepper me now the masses now go carry the now go bear the brunt that is my that is my annoyance. The masses now we could bear the brunt. And this gives me this moves me to say Shugon hmm. Hey Shugon, please let us not use this twenty twenty three election to play Ludo. It's not gambling, no. This one is not Naira Bet or Bet Naja. We should make sure that we vote for the right person. Because it is paramount to our lives. The whole Islamization and the whole AP, the Muslim, Muslim, you know, everything is beginning to, like, either it won't play a movie for my head, one won't watch. If this is, <laughs> uh, let me, let me, let, let me keep watching this story. And hopefully, you know, it doesn't end the way, the way that, you know, people are seeing it to end. All right. Let only Nigerian languages be written on the new currencies with no religion mark or symbol. Very supported. Arabic has never been our official language. Our official language has been English. Our mother tongue, that is if you are from any part of the country, that is your first language. And then secondly, English language. And the English language was introduced so that we would be able to communicate with each other. Because believe you me, you get language we never hear for this Nigeria. We did. They have Ibra, they have Efi, they have TV, they have Irobo, they have been there. They have a lot of languages that you've not heard. So to make them easier, so that anybody from those places can, you know, communicate very well and be understood in, you know, is English. So that you could fit here and understand what you need to talk. If they are going to, my own is they should not even put it there. This one is not a matter of don't put, don't put it there. You see the way where it they plain a big, make them remain, make it remain like that, make it remain like that too. Ha! I don't know where we from seeing this kind of people. People we vote this kind of people in, people that are so 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 proud, 
they don't listen to what the wealth of Nigeria, what Nigeria wants to basically give them. And in the democracy, you give the people what at least. I'm not saying all the time, but you do what is going to be in favor of the people. Okay. Everything will remain intact if they don't, if they give you, don't collect it. Can you imagine? And this person is speaking now, now Muslim. Maybe Islamic is Christian the cause of the depreciation of the Naira. I don't even understand. Maybe Islamic believers have ruled this country longest, and yet we are poorer every year. They have disrespected Islam. That is why we are suffering. And our nothing children are Marjorie. Look at Saudi Arabia. Look at Saudi Arabia, UAE, Qatar. The people live here because they fear God more than the so-called Islamic politicians in Nigeria. There's a blame for the depreciation of using Arabic language and a currency to curry favors from the Gulf region. And at the same time, as a weapon to brainwash our people in northern Nigeria, that they're on a holy mission. <laughs> hey, I pity the northerners so I pity northerners we never see say there is more beautiful things of life. Now those people in the brainwash are not the pity. <laughs> because we southerners, most especially southerners, we be say they don't know they are open minded like as I am. I know that there is more to life. In fact, I know that life can be better. All right. What is written on the Naira note is not Islamic inscription. It is Arabic language mostly used by Muslims. Then why is it there? No, no. Why is it there? Is Nigeria a Muslim country? This country is a secular state too. It's the fastest way to set Nigeria on fire and to make this country boil over. And perhaps, I am sorry I must say this, Unless they want another Nigerian civil war. Eh? Now this is the way that they do. It's a time, it is setting a time bomb that we blow off on our head. And me, Shubon, the stories I've heard of the first one was not okay. Huh. Let them fret court, court, um, carefully. You. Okay. Mm. So, bother, don't bother bring religion into this. We are saying... Is Arabic isn't our language. You speak Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba as our major languages. While English is official language, then what is Arabic doing in our currency? Not even law music can read the Arabic knowledge that is written on the Naira. My own, whether they are trying to curry favor from or who God knows where, make them respect their age. Nigeria has different, like I say, you have Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba. <laughs> and those ones have been on the notes. So make everybody, make I mean, make them no go do past themselves, sure. Okay. But as a country, we don't speak or teach Arabic at schools. You all just want to make Nigeria an Arabic or Islamic state. But there'll be no peace if you choose to let a religion be only for you. You reject that money, and I'm afraid we will get into religious war. And it's not going to be funny. Huh. It's not be funny. We Christians have tolerated you people's no. Let's not talk, let's not go that line. My own is make everybody using brain. Huh. Maybe say that time now they come to talk. See, we did not know. They know now Nigerians are coming out to tell them that it will not work now. Whatever that is remoting them should remote them back to their senses. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>